questions for Shaquille? First off, Brian said that the rookie talent show started last night. Mm -hmm. With Bryce Singh, and, and how was he? Uh, Bryce set the stage. He had a hell of a performance. I thought I was at a concert, to be honest with you. Bryce had a hell of a performance. Can you share what he said? Oh, I can't. That's in house. Just know he had a hell of a performance. So everybody, everybody enjoyed it. He got into it. I'm trying to tell you, it was like a concert. He set the stage. He set the stage. I mean, just saying a uh, personality out of him, you know what I mean? That was like, shit, I get behind that. You know what I mean? So that was good for us to see, good for him to be up there. You know what I mean? I think it went well with everybody, everybody respected it. We had fun with it. Um, it shocked us that he had so much personality, but it was it was dope, it was dope. Have you not shown much of that during OTAs? And First you get in here, you gotta earn that trust, but yesterday, it was a whole different Bryce, a whole different Bryce, and uh, it was good to see. You think guys, like, it sounds like you guys sort of wanted to see it? We didn't know what we was gonna expect, you know what I mean? But he got up there and killed it. That's, I mean, that's it. I mean, first round pick, you had a lot of stuff on you, you know, and um, he killed it. He lived up to it. What have been your impressions of him just facing him out here? Um, not a lot of balls been on the ground. He's been making smart plays. Um, if nobody's there, he throws away. Um, he's making smart decisions, smart checks, um, getting the guys in the right reads, right routes. Um, I don't know a lot about their offense, but um, he's, to me, it looks like he's doing everything a starter should be doing. You know, he's out there, looks like a veteran. Uh, controlling the huddle, controlling guys, you know what I mean? He's out there having fun. Shaq, Moo's got two picks in two days. What are you seeing from him? What does he bring to the team? Kamu's one of those guys that's just like a silent killer, you know what I mean? Um, they brought him in for special teams, but I definitely think he's going to be one of those guys playing. They got to put him on the field somehow, some way, you know what I mean? He's been making plays. He's fast. He's smart. Um, he's a veteran. Um, I feel like you got to find a way to get everybody on the field, and you definitely got to find a way to get him on the field. Marquis Haynes is a guy that you've been a teammate of for a really long time. He's getting an opportunity to really step up. What have you seen from him as well? Uh, just a lot of growth. You know, he's understanding the game, understanding how to pass rush, understanding how to drop. Um, I think he kind of did that in Ole Miss a little bit. Um, he's just coming into himself. Um, he's very quiet sometimes, but um, he's a guy that you could definitely rely on and depend on. Especially if you need something, you know, they double team Burns. I definitely think he's going to come alive with those one on ones, you know what I mean? He has everything Burns has, you know? Um, you just got to go out there and showcase it. Shaq, how do you kind of view this NFC South? You got you know, a lot of new quarterbacks basically up and down the list, uh, four young quarterback in there. But um, how do you view that situation? I'm not worried about Carolina. How are we going to do this year? I'm not really worried about anybody else but us, you know what I mean? I'm not focused on Atlanta until we play Atlanta. I'm not focused on New Orleans until we focus on them. My focus on Tampa, so we focus on Tampa. I'm focused on what we got right here, what we got in house, and what we gonna do um, to go out there and win, put on performances. Um, the last couple of years kind of been shits. So just got out there. I'm worried about this team and what we gonna do. You're I'm not okay. worried, worried about. Not I'm not worried about Tampa. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm worried about what we got going on. Stay here long term. I'm obviously a TD. Luke Beeson is a great linebacker in this year. I mean, I said what I said earlier, why I came back, right? I came back because the guys. I came back because we had up and downs. I came back because I know what the hell we had going on. That's why I came back. It wasn't because of Luke, TD, and none of that stuff. Nah, they, 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 they were done and retired. I had to build a whole new relationship with other guys. I built that relationship. We roll a roller coaster up and down, highs and lows, and that's why I came back. I came back because of them. Brian Burns said something. Recent, or similarly yesterday, just about we're trying to build something on this defense. Uh, where does that come from? I guess like, why is that a contagious center? Why is it? I mean, you've been watching us last year, and the year before. Why is it? We go out there, perform. We have highs and lows, and we the defense. We know what we got. No one, if we, you know what I mean. If everybody does their job, everybody does their part. Everybody does what they're supposed to do. We know what we got going. We know what we could do out there on that field. So that's why he says that. I mean, we, we know it. Y'all might not see it, but in that locker room, we know it, what we got going on. You know what I mean? So that's why he said what he said. What's been the biggest difference, uh, just sort of the overall feeling of this camp with this new staff versus the uh, last one? I'm not even going to talk about the other staff, but this staff, man, they just know how to take care of players a little bit. Um, you see our practices. We come out here, we get our work in, and we get off the field. You know what I mean? Try to beat the heat, come in, work. Uh, we're going to start doing situational stuff, you know what I mean? He's bringing in that because it's all about situational football. Things happen, two minutes happen, four minutes happen, you know what I mean? So it just brings a lot of knowledge into us and uh, making sure everybody knows what to do and handle situations, you know what I mean? Nobody folds under pressure, and that's what they're doing out here for us.
Yeah, he makes Tommy Trumbull such a good fit from the other from the other defense, not a this defense. You said Tommy? Oh, I'm sorry. So I was like, Tommy? Uh, that was my guy. I was ready to talk about Tommy. Uh, the son got to me. I meant Frankie Luther. Frankie? Uh, ask that question again. I got Tommy in my head right now. I don't want to him such a good fit for this defense. I think Frankie's a good fit in any defense. You just got to know where to put him in and play. You know what I mean? He's one of those guys you just got to let just go. He's going to make a play when he makes a play. Um, he's definitely one of those guys you rely on. You could drop him in coverage. You could definitely want to blitz him. Um, you definitely want to put him on the line and let him be up there. That's where he wants to be. That's where he likes. And just let we let Frankie be Frankie. You know what I mean? So I think he could fit a 4-3, a 3-4, 3-3-5, whatever the hell it is. I think Frankie could fit anywhere. I will ask you about that. I will ask you about that. What have you seen of Icky uh, coming in his second year? Icky? Yeah. Icky's strong as hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Icky's strong as hell. But, uh, you know, Icky is definitely, he definitely got, he definitely improved a lot. You know what I mean? Just having that first year going through whatever highs and lows. But I think he has one of the best offensive line coaches in the game. And um, going against Burns every day, you got Bowles, you got Timo on the other side, uh, Brady, and you got Corbs coming back. Um, so he's definitely learning a lot. But you go against Burns every day, you know what I mean? He's just going to make you better. You know what I mean? So he's definitely one of those guys that definitely is going to improve this year. I remember Burns said that this I don't think you asked me that question. Okay. Well, if it does, can you tell us how? Uh, it just allows us to play fast. You know what I mean? We definitely don't got to always run with speedy guys. You know what I mean? We just play visual, play lateral, and just go. You know what I mean? We just, I can't tell you everything because then I'm giving away the game plan, but that's it. I can't tell you everything. I got it. I got it. What, what do you think about Bryce kind of away from here, uh, walking around the cafeteria or whatever, that, that sort of stands out, that shows his leadership in ways we don't see out here in the uh, Bryce is just Bryce. I mean, Cali kid. I mean, all the Cali kids, you know what I mean? Just walk around with them. We just got that swag about us. You know what I mean? Bryce just has that swag about us. Kind-hearted kid. Um, he's about the team. And you lazy to see him. He's just walking by, signing on the grass. He's just Bryce. I mean, I've seen it with Cam, you know what I mean? But it's good to see how he just carries himself. First round pick, first pick, you know what I mean? He carries himself like he's been in the league for a while. So, you know what I mean? I don't know, his parents raised him right or something. Um, but the kid knows how to carry himself. Yeah, you uh, got one right here. Go ahead. You go, sir. Well, I was going to ask, yesterday Brian mentioned some of the steps he was taking to elevate his leadership on the team. And he talked about sessions with you first thing in the morning throughout oh, wow. the camp. So how did that unfold? <laughs> what did that look like? Bernie said that. He said that yesterday. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did, he make, did he make it this morning? Nah, it's every other day. So oh, okay. <laughs> it's every other day. Okay. But you know, we just brought out our little secret weapon to help us out through the year. You know what I mean? Stay conditioned, stay, stay moving, stay relaxed, keep our muscles going, and uh, not getting tight. But that was Burns' first day, but he did well. You know what I mean? That's what kind of a leader is. You just gotta do more than more than others, and that's what Burns is doing. Uh, he's figuring out. Uh, shit, I'm probably gonna be on my way out in a couple of years, so Burns is probably the next one up. Uh, I've been approaching him about it, uh, but he's been say, he's been saying he's gonna do it, and you know what I mean. He did it yesterday, so he'll do it tomorrow. Are you every day at 5:45? Every day at 4:45? 5:45? That's what that's the time. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> at 5:45, 6, 6:15, sometimes depends on when I go to sleep. You know what are, I mean? But um, is definitely. There a group of y'all that is pretty consistent. Um, with that workout, it's just me and him. Um, we'll probably get more people, but that workout is really not for everybody, to be honest with you. It's a lot, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of consistently moving, and just, it's just a lot, you know what I mean? If I get a lot of people to come join, that'd be nice, but it's definitely not for everybody. Y'all good? Y'all good? It's hot. Thanks, Jack. Y'all have a good one.